YouTube, what's up? Um, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I get really lazy. I've actually made videos for you guys, but like, I haven't uploaded them. So, I'll make a really nice update for you guys right now, so... Yeah. So, um, some of you may know, but... Um, the first week I had my Nile monitor, um, he was really acting funny. Like, acting real weird and stuff, and kind of didn't want to eat. Like, I gave him the whole week, and maybe like a week and a half. And I know it takes him a couple times to eat, but like, I really didn't want him to like, not eat for me at all. So I traded him in. Um, luckily the people took him. Um, and I traded him for something that would fit me better, that I can handle more. And, yeah, here's his setup. It's basically the same thing, but I changed the bedding and stuff. And he makes his water dish dirty because he gets all the bark in it. And there he is. He's sitting up against the, up on the log. I'll give you better looks of him, but he's a Salvatore water monitor. He had some eggs and some ground meats today. He feeds on calcium dusted crickets. Got him a pinky today. I got three small rats for the monitors and the tegu. Um, tegus and savannah. The beardies are all doing good. Um, you can see their enclosures here. There's Godzilla. Your Mastix. The skink is out. Right there, he's about to shed. My water dragon and basilisk. My amphibians. My egg that I had in there was infertile so I took it out mm. the baby Leos are right here Let's see if I can get a good look there's a lot of doo doo in there baby Leos are doing good that I hatched um and yeah the raptor female the Diablo Blanco cross with the blazing blizzard the normal she looks gravid right now um, there's the basilisk, the water dragon's really brown, so, and he needs to shed. My tegus, the big black and white girl, and the big, uh, male red. They had ground meats and some eggs today, got to take that bowl out. They actually mated, so expect some tegu eggs in the next couple months, so... I gotta redo their whole enclosure so that they have more digging, they have more digging space and more humidity up in here. Cause right now it's just a dry substrate cause I, I wasn't expecting them to breed. So I just did that. Um, and yeah, that's just my update. So next I'll be feeding the, um, I'm gonna save the rats for tomorrow. Um, I have this enclosure where I put all my rodents. I put these rodents in. It's, this is the enclosure where I put rodents inside of if I need a holding tank, because they'll, they'll bite right through the bag, so I keep them in this thing. I put some dog food in there for a day. So they stay alive. They don't really need water, because it's just for a day or two, so pretty much like that um and I'll feed them tomorrow here's Chilla say hi say hi Chilla hi he's a good boy he doesn't bite or anything he looks to be pet good boy he's really cool um, some other updates. I just got back to school. Um, I got, I went out today. Got a new G-Shock. It's pretty dope. I don't say that much, because it's kind of annoying. There you go. It's pretty sick. It's limited edition. Ah! I gotta put this in HD. Ah! But yeah, it's the female Savannah. I actually found out that she was a female, so, um, his name isn't Dago, Dago anymore, um, it's kind of a no-name, but she's my big girl. Um, she's getting out of this tank really soon, 
As you can see, she pretty much outgrew it. It's just a 40 gallon. It may look like she has a lot of room, but when she stretches out, she takes about half of it. So I gotta get her into a wooden vivarium. I saw one at Pet Kingdom for 150, so it's pretty good there. Um, and I guess I'll put these rats away for you guys, and I can show you um, the different size feedings that I give them now, since the tegus grew a lot in the savanna. So this is what I feed them now, and yeah, these are what these are what they eat now. They're all they're bigger size now. This this is my hand. Pick one up. They're pretty big, um, and those are for the tegus and the savanna monitor. This is what they eat now, and um, yeah, they seem like they're all males, so I won't keep any. Usually, if one's a female, I'll f actually feed them off, or I'll actually breed them. But um, they're all males today, so um, yeah. Put this cover on so they don't try to escape anymore. Alright. This is the rat rat slash mouse container. Um and yeah, they'll be fed to the tegus tomorrow because they're pretty full and fat right now as you can see. Um so yeah. Oh here's my brother's small ER Mastix. He came out. They had some collard greens and some kale earlier. As you know, he hasn't grown since the first videos that I've had of him. And there's my brother's new one. Um, he needs to gain a lot more weight. But yeah, they're all nice and good right now. Uh, tank needs to be cleaned out, but yeah. The Leo stick. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces.